creep failure example problem. Creep failure is defined as the permanent deformation under stress. And it's going to be more severe if it's subject to heat. There's also a strain increase over time, which means more and more deformation occurs. And also the creep rate is going to be given as the strain divided by a unit of time. And a higher creep rate is caused by higher temperature or stress. Looking at the creep strain versus time plot, we have multiple figures here, here, and here. And we also have our up arrow going this way. This arrow represents if there's a higher applied stress or a higher temperature occurring. So this is going to have the lowest temperature right here and the lowest applied stress. This one's going to be the highest temperature or highest applied stress. And as you can see, the failure in decreases over time. So the one with the highest applied stress or the highest temperature has the shortest time till failure. Additionally, we want to go ahead and make a plot of time versus strain, as well as find a secondary creep rate for an example of aluminum at 800 degrees Fahrenheit and 3,955 PSI. So first off, we're giving the time versus strain table. As you can see, it ranges from 0 to 15, right over here, as well as the strain for the corresponding times, which is right over here. And I've gone ahead and plot this for the creep strain versus time, which is in minutes over here. So for at 1, we have our 0 0.022. At 2, we have 0 0.041. All the way till time is 15, which is 0 0.307 up here. Next, we can go ahead and connect the dots in order to see our figure, as I'm doing so. And then we can go ahead and divide the curve up into the three sections. We have our primary right here. We have our secondary, which is right here. And then we have our tertiary, which is right here. What we're interested in is the secondary creep rate, which is going to be a constant creep rate. This is because there's a balance between the strain hardening and the recovery. And recovery is when their material retains its ability to experience deformation. So R ranges from time 4 to 10. So our delta T is 10 minus 4. Our strain, we go ahead and look at the plot for time t equals 10. And we have 0 0.176 minus our time 4 corresponding strain, which is 0 0.080. Go ahead and solving for those values, we get 0 0.096. And for our delta T, we get 6. So we're going to go ahead and make that the fraction so we can find the rate. So we take the change in strain, which is 0 0.096, and we're going to divide it by our change in time, which is 6. Plugging those numbers in, we get a value of 0 0.016. And as I said before, that's going to be strain per our unit of time, which is going to be minutes. So here we have our secondary creep rate, and here we have our plot. Some real world, world examples of these would be a plane turbine blade. They experience that stress and it's going to be at a high temperature as well as a pressure tank at a high temperature because it is under the constant stress. A strain occurs and then failure could happen such as seen up here.